What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Mike. And JJ. And we are at Los Alamitos, the home of the Griffins, for some CIF semifinal volleyball between your Paul Jackrabbits and Los Al. Yeah, when you make up the bracket, I mean, these are two top 10 national teams. These are the games you're waiting for. Yeah, and the students of Los Al were ready for it. Great, uh, great crowd in the stands on both sides of the floor. Poly fans there to see all those weapons we've seen all year. So many options for center Elisa Mesa to choose from. And on the other side for the Griffins, one really top flight player in Hallie Amaro. Love the socks, good look. But you know what? She looks like a Griffin. She looks like a typical low South volleyball. She looks like a D1 athlete yeah. in a high school uniform for yeah. sure. Um, this in its entire 49 second glory, ladies and gentlemen, is your first point of the match. After which one of the Poly fans turned me and said, we might have a long night if this goes five sets <laughs> at almost a minute a point. Yeah, you know what? This is a good example of what both teams have. Low South, great defense, but not the big swingers. Well, Polly, they got the big swing. Yeah, Polly, look at how many different girls take a hack at this ball. Definitely, like you said, so many weapons to choose from. And really, you felt at this point like, I mean, it's it's anyone's match. The crowd is just screaming on both sides. Nobody can get the ball down. Polly finally called on a net error. Uh, maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed, JJ, in the early going. Fall behind 9-3 with that crowd. You looked at that crowd, right? <laughs> yeah. Were, were you a little nervous? I, I, could, I could barely hold the camera at this point. As you would expect, it's Tara Kyle and Rhea Rush, the senior leaders, who get them going. Then on that kill, Polly goes up 11-10. They would only trail once more in the entire match. Air Bria doing it, and then Zayna with the Zolo block. The Zolo block, I like it. Rochelle Suava gets the crowd all fired up. Polly up 16-12, and then Sai Yotia completely takes over. Back-to-back -back kills, and then the ace. Why not? Why not? But if, if you go ahead and fill that stat line up in this semifinal. Zayna Bowens gets an ace here to clinch it. Four aces in the first set for Polly. Nine aces in the game? Nine aces in the match. And you know what? As we see there, it's not even just aces. It's the way their serves were taking Los Al out of their system, making it hard to do anything. Well, you look at this one right there. One girl saying it's out. The other girl saying it's in. When you put them on their heels, they're bound to make mistakes. Polly did not make any mistakes. Only two errors in the second oh. set. Kill. <laughs> Killing the overpass. All Jackrabbits in the second. Air Bria again puts Polly ahead, gives him the win 25 to 14. Jackrabbit fans feel it. 25 14. Everybody in the gym got to be shaking their head going, wasn't this a, a national top 10 matchup? Yeah, and it, you know, by the time you got to the second and third set, it didn't feel like you got Lindsey Ray off the bench getting a kill. Elisa Mesa getting her ace here. She was great all night. 45 assists, putting four different hitters in double digit kills. Yeah, she was probably the MVP on song. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, you know, setters never get enough credit. But with this kill, the Poly fans are feeling it. They've taken a decisive lead. And here it comes, JJ. Well, with up two sets to none, you're kind of playing with house money right here. And then with those two big hands up in the middle, winner, winner, going to the ship dinner. Yeah, you can, man, you just feel as everyone runs out on the floor, you know, the respectful handshakes, absolutely. It's still a high school match. We'd love to see the sportsmanship. But you can feel the energy. This is a team that's been together, a lot of them, for three years on varsity. Rhea Russ and Tara Kyle, two of those. So excited to feel like the work is finally starting to pay off. Of course, as Coach Leland McGrath pointed out, all they've done now is won the opportunity to play for a championship, which they'll do this Saturday at Cypress College against Redondo Union. Be there at 8 p.m. If you can't get there, well, you should be ashamed of yourself. But come back to GazetteSports.com where we'll have everything covered, as always.